Whoa, can I help you? I'd like to sell my Simpsons world. This looks like a pretty big Simpsons world. Uh, Homer kind of reminds me of my boss, Rick. He's a fat guy that eats a lot of donuts. Dough. <laughs> I'm here at the pawn shop today to sell my World of Springfield Simpsons collection. There are 133 individual pieces, but there's also, I think, 20 or 30 different environments that interact with the characters themselves. The collection the whole time has been stored in containers up in my garage, so it was time to get rid of them. I'm hoping to get $2,000 for the entire collection. You got a lot, a lot of cool stuff here. It's the biggest American family sitcom ever. Homer was kind of the star of it, just this kind of dim-witted, dumb dad who made bad choices, but he was a loving husband, and he took care of his family the best way he knew how. They first appeared in 1987 on The Tracy Allman Show, and before it actually became a television show, Fox picked it up and did a Christmas special. The numbers were good, so they did an actual series out of it, and here we are 30 years later. Right. These guys won tons and tons of awards. Where did you get all this stuff? Uh, I started collecting them about 20 years ago. So how many pieces in total in the collection? Uh, 133 pieces. OK. I see you got some cool stuff here. You got the family in their car. And you know, this is always the opening scene. What do we got here? Uh... Stephen Hawking. Oh, Stephen Hawking, yeah. yeah. Wow. I've never seen a Simpsons collection this detailed with this much stuff. What are you looking to do with all this stuff? I'm looking to sell it. What kind of price are you looking for? Because this is going to take a lot of time for me to move and sell. A lot of labor, a lot of power, a lot of shipping. So I'm looking for 2000 which okay. I think is super fair. Um, a lot of these environments themselves easily sell between 100 and 200 Well, I can't just take your word for it. OK. I have a toy guy right across the street. Cool. So if you have a few minutes to hang around, I can get him over here. Absolutely. And we can come to a price where I think I can still make money. Maybe we'll have a deal. Cool. He should be here in a few minutes. Cool. Thank you. I think anybody who works or, or runs a toy shop is going to come in here and geek out just like I did. So I think they're going to side with me on this. Wow. Can you see me? Oh, there you are. Apparently, you have the entire world of Simpsons there. <laughs> yes, it's a Simpsons world, and you're living in it. Wow. That's impressive, man. I just want to get an idea of what you think everything's worth. You know, it really uh, depends on what exactly you have here. The Simpsons just got a huge fan base. There's tons of collectors for Simpsons stuff. Playmates Toys acquired the licensing of The Simpsons. There's hundreds upon hundreds of figures. There's play sets. And The Simpsons were always known for being a little edgy. And being edgy, they would do things like, you know, Duff Man. Here was this cartoon that, you know, sensationalized beer and drinking in the bar. And, you know, they did the Stephen Hawking. Like, a lot of people were offended that they produced a toy. And so Playmates took a lot of heat for actually producing that toy. So what do you think this collection is worth retail value? I want to know that before I start to consider what I could pay for it. Well, you know, looking it all over, you, know, you have play sets like in the mainstream play set. This used to be like a $250 play set, right? Now you're looking at it about a $65 play set. Sometimes when stuff is bought as a collectible, these toys don't gain value, and in some right. case, they might lose a little bit of value. Sure. And so for this type of a collection, I would expect your return on this to be around $2,200. Yo! <laughs> I appreciate you, All right, Steve. Man. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Well, it's definitely going to hurt your asking price. Sure. Um, if I'm going to buy this collection, I'm really looking to be at about 700 bucks. Yeah. Hey, that's no, that's madness. Um, if you could push this up to 1,000, I could walk out of here with my head high. This is going to take a lot of time to, for me to move and sell. A lot of labor, a lot of power, a lot of shipping. But you're going to have so much fun doing this. Walk down memory lane. I'd have much more fun taking a longer yeah. lunch. <laughs> would you do 950? If you do 1,000, this would be awesome. I mean, for 50 bucks, uh, I think I could probably still make a little money on it. Cool. We got to do it. I appreciate right. it. Meet me over there, and we'll write it up. Awesome. Thank you very much. So $1,000 is definitely below what I was expecting, so I'm a little disappointed. But in the big picture, I'm actually quite satisfied because I'm going to be using this money to buy an engagement ring for my girlfriend.
job. Is Grandpa here? What is going on? What do you mean? Um, I don't know. Where did all this Simpson stuff come from, and why are you photographing your dog? I bought 130 Simpson pieces for a thousand bucks. Some of it's worth a lot of money, like the big pieces, but a lot of them are only worth like seven bucks, ten bucks each. So to help move that stuff, I'm throwing in an autographed picture of Pinky. A dog can't autograph a picture. She has a paw print and an ink pad. And no one's gonna buy something because your dog put its paw print on it. I don't know. Did you see how cute she is? Look at her. You know, I'm not big about the dog at work anyway, but I allow it. But you actually have to be working when you're at work. So she's not just a dog, Rick. Pinky is not going to sell merchandise. Pinky isn't a real employee. Pinky can't talk to people. It's a dog. I let you bring the dog to work because the dog is cute. You just made her mad. She heard that, Rick, and she didn't like it. I guarantee you, because of her, merchandise will sell. Will you deal with this, please? No. You're the one that allows this to happen. Go do some real work. Do what you want to do, chum. It's OK, Pinky. Let's do a couple more. Oh, yeah, girl, get it. All right, let's get the rest of these signed up here, Pinky. We got a lot of orders going out. There we go. I told you this was a terrible idea. What? No one's going to buy something just so they can get an autographed picture of Pinky. What do you mean? These things are selling like hotcakes, Rick. What do you mean they're selling like hotcakes? I mean, I've got like 10 orders ready to go. This one I sold for $7, but they're throwing an extra 10 in just to get a picture of Pinky autograph. People are paying an extra $10 for a Pinky autograph. Yeah. Who wouldn't want that? I'm baffled. I don't know what to say. I can get you guys one for free if you want. That makes no sense. Why? Pinky's not even famous or anything. I mean... Look, she doesn't like what you're saying, Rick. I mean, look at how cute she is, Rick, in her gold and silver pawn shop shirt. We make those? I had it specially made for her so she could come to work and you wouldn't get mad at her about not wearing a uniform. <sighs> All right, I, I don't get it. Pinky's getting tired, ready for a break, huh, girl? Been signing all day. If it's working, good for you. I'm gonna sell all these Simpson toys. You don't worry, Corey. All right. Making you guys money. You ready for a break, Pinky? Come on. Let's go take a poop in Rick's office.